Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keo, and today is kind of a a, a warning type video, I guess. And I, I don't know how to phrase it. I think there should be a little bit of a panic, but not too much of a panic about what's happening right now. So first, let me let me set the stage here. Globally, there is a shortage of computer chips. Now, you might say, well, this is a DJ channel. What does this got to do with me? The computer chip shortage, and I'm talking about the brains of your laptops, your cell phones, your watches, your calculators. It is affecting everything, all the way down to TVs. This thing is going to be, it's been going on for a year now, since 2020. And it's only gotten worse and we're at the point now where it's at critical levels. President Biden's like, we've got to do something. We've got to figure this thing out. All the countries all around the world are panicking. And so how does this affect the DJing thing? Well, computer chips are in everything. They're in your refrigerator at this point, your microwave. And they're also in your DJ equipment. Outside of just a basic no-brains simple mixer with nothing into it. I mean, those things are going to be fine. You can continue to make those. However, anything with the touchscreen, anything with some kind of higher functionality, there's going to be a problem making them, creating them. I I was just not even making them, producing them at large capacity. Because you can, you can still make it. There's still chips available. The issue here is... Mass production. There's a premium on this stuff. And so there's two factors here. The prices are going to go up and it's going to be, things are going to be harder to make. And so there's going to be less of it out there. If you were in the business of selling your gear, you're going to, it's a great time for that (laughs) because there's going to be very little new gear coming out for the foreseeable future. And I'm I'm looking at this like a long-term thing. And I, I was looking from an article from The Guardian. They're talking about this is going to raise the prices of TVs, cell phones, cars, video game consoles. And you can rest assured DJ equipment is going to raise in price as well. We don't have a lot of dummy type uh, DJ equipment with no circuits in there or no computer chips in there. Everything now is digital. Pretty much everything. If you use any kind of software like Serato or whatever, you need computer chips so it can talk to the computer. So it, it it's just like, you're not going to get around this. Everybody is going to be hit with this thing. The question is how hard and for how long. And when you factor in the pandemic, I don't know. It, it doesn't look good. I put up a poll and, and a lot of people were asking me like, when's new gear coming out? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I, it'd be insane for a company to announce something and then not be able to deliver it for, you know, a year. I mean, full, full scale production for a year. Like they, they can make a couple thousand. They could probably knock them out, but the price is going to increase and consistency isn't going to be there. So as a, for a company, it doesn't make sense to launch something that they cannot deliver. I'm just looking at it from a long-term possibility. I think they'll probably get this under wraps eventually, but as it stands right now, this is a major problem. We just had a launch of the PS5. Uh, Was it last year? I think it was last year. And Sony's struggling to make new consoles. And the same thing with Microsoft. They got supply chain issues everywhere. They they're not even they're suggesting they're not going to even be able to make anything until the second half of this year or to to fill the the gap of people who want to get this stuff. And, and this kind of stuff happens all the time for for consoles, for video game consoles. Like it happens all the time. Like initially they go on sale and then it's hard to get and then Eventually, they ramp it up. It gets cheaper to make, and then you just they're out there. But DJ stuff is niche, and I'm not saying that this is going to happen. I'm saying that this is a potential thing that could happen. 
And so you got to look at it like, at least be aware of what's happening in the world. So if you're in the market for something, just, just to be aware that this is going on. Prices, without a doubt, are going to rise for DJ gear, without a doubt. If computer chips or whatever that, that, that goes up in price, say like on a scale, say the chips cost, you know, $40 to make. Now they're $80 to mass produce and to get them all this stuff, plus the research and development and all this kind of stuff. Like price is going to jump. Just just in general, prices are going to go up. This is going to be interesting. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see how this goes and if I'm alarmist or if I'm spot on. I will say this, though. Uh, I'm not, I don't have an expert or some kind of a special behind the scenes thing, like information about, uh, what's happening at any of these companies that are producing this stuff? I'm just saying I'm I'm going off simple logic, and again I could totally be wrong. So I I want to preface this with I I definitely could be wrong, but the way the last two years have been going, I I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it very highly. I think that gear in the next little bit is going to be trickled out, so it's going to come out, but it's not going to be like a, a rush like it used to be. And I definitely think that prices are going to jump considerably enough that you're going to notice it. You know, we, we penny pinch stuff right now. And, and to some degree, you know, DJs are willing to spend a couple thousand dollars on gear. Like that's, that's just part of the business, especially professional DJs. But I think that with the prices increase, you're going, you're going to notice them and it's going to be an issue. It's definitely going to turn off people. Because, you know, a lot of people, a lot of DJs aren't working. So buying new gear is a luxury rather than it's something I have to do for my business. I I definitely think that's a factor for how people look at this stuff. Like for me, I'm in the market to buy stuff, but because I'm not DJing, I'm just hesitant. Especially because I don't have a timetable for when I can DJ again. It's made it so that I'm kind of concerned about what's going on long term. But uh, you know what? Maybe maybe I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you would like to support the channel, hit the Teespring store. Uh, DJ Keo, link is in the description. You can support the channel that way. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, peace out.